At 7.42 a.m. on August 17, 1943, Technical Sergeant James McKenna crouched under the left wing of a P-38 Lightning at Dobadura Airfield in New Guinea, watching his pilot prepare for a mission he probably wouldn't survive. The pilot was Lieutenant Robert Hayes, 23 years old, six combat missions, zero kills. The Japanese had sent 18 Mitsubishi A6M-0 fighters to intercept the morning patrol. Hayes would be flying straight into them. McKenna had been maintaining P-38s for eight months. He knew the aircraft inside and out. Twin-engine fighter, twin-boom design, fast in a straight line, absolute beast at high altitude. But the P-38 had one fatal problem that was killing American pilots every single day. It couldn't turn with a Zero. The Zero was lighter, more agile. It could execute a full horizontal turn in half the time a P-38 needed. In a dogfight, that difference meant death. American doctrine said P-38 pilots should never turn with a Zero, never try to outmaneuver them, use speed use altitude, dive in, shoot, climb out, hit and run, don't get caught in a turning fight. Hayes had tried that doctrine five times. It hadn't worked. The Zeros were too smart. They baited American pilots into turns, cut inside their turning radius, got on their tail, shot them down. The 5th Air Force had lost 37 P-38s in the past six weeks. Most were shot down after being caught in turning engagements they couldn't escape. McKenna had watched too many pilots die. Good men. Kids, really. They climbed into their P-38s with confidence and came back in boxes. Or didn't come back at all. The training manual said the problem was pilot error. The instructors said these pilots weren't following doctrine. But McKenna knew better. The problem wasn't the pilots. It was the control cables. The P-38's aileron control cables ran through the twin booms to the tail section, then forward through pulleys to the wing control surfaces. The cable system had slack. Not much, maybe three-eighths of an inch at full deflection. But that tiny bit of slack created a delay between stick movement and aileron response. At high speeds, it didn't matter. At low speeds, during hard turning maneuvers, that fraction of a second delay was the difference between rolling inside a zero's turn and getting shot down. McKenna had mentioned this to the engineering officer two months ago. The officer said